just gonna check some uh, social media, see what everyone's saying. Get some questions coming through on Instagram. I regularly get loads and loads of questions, by the way, guys. I apologize if I don't reply to everybody. The reason why I set up the vlogs and set up my channel is to answer these questions. It is so that I can communicate with everyone and answer your questions. Because literally, you know, every day, if I look right now, I've got today, I've got 98 requests. Here, yeah, there's 98 requests from today. So it's impossible for me to go through and answer each and every one of them every time. So that's why I set up the channel. But what I am doing is I'm looking at the questions and looking at what sort of answers you guys want and what, what sort of knowledge you want from me and what you want to know. And accordingly, I'm structuring the, the content of the vlogs. So keep the questions coming. Even though I might not reply to them, keep them coming because that's giving me ideas for the content to come and, and what questions you guys want answering what, what what you want to hear from me in essence so do keep those questions coming i do try and answer a few of them so let's see right now what we have uh check this one someone says halal dan bilzerian <laughs> i don't know where they got that from okay thank you someone's like hello i have a couple of questions i want to develop my knowledge in the field of finance credit union loan stock market can you help me please? Thank you so much. Can you advise me courses, seminars or classes? What would you recommend me as creation of new additional income? Right. <laughs> That's a huge, very wide question. First of all, uh, if I try and break this down, um, he wants to develop his knowledge in the fields of finance, credit union, loans and stock market. And he's asking me to advise him some courses, seminars or classes. Um, well, you know, I'm actually doing an executive program uh, next month in February um, at the London School of Economics. It's um, finance for executives. That is very specific for senior executives who are looking to sort of broaden their understanding of finance and the financial markets um, and you know company balance sheets and, and things along those lines but just go online and do some research. Look at exactly those topics that you've sent me in a question google them the topic that you've got there credit union courses you can do online courses you can do courses where you go into a university and study and go and get those short qualifications my course at, i did a course last year at singularity which was all about exponential technologies that was a week eight day long course the course at uh, lse is a week long course again go do some short courses learn about it you know um people are very much i mean i'm a big believer in education even though i don't think like education its current format of go to university get a degree is the only way it certainly isn't we can see that by the way the world is today but definitely expand your knowledge short courses are a great thing go online do your research find what subject you're interested in and just pick up and go do a random course go expand your knowledge expand what you know you'll go and you'll meet like-minded people because they're studying the same subject that you're studying um, and you'll, you'll gain further knowledge so I think definitely short courses are the way forward um, and what do I recommend him in terms of a, how to create additional income? Um, I don't know what income you've got right now, so that's a difficult one to answer. But additional income, uh, you know, save save your money. You know, um, golden rule: um, you earn one pound, you should be spending thirty-three. You should be investing thirty-three, and you should be saving thirty-three. Right? Simple rule of thumb. Um, so you, when when your when your money comes in, when you're earning your money, you shouldn't. If you're earning ten pounds, you should be thinking, okay, I've earned three pounds thirty-three, right? Um, and that's something about after tax. So you've net got in your bank at ten pounds. You should be saying, I've got three pounds thirty-three. Three pounds thirty-three. I'm going to invest, and three pounds thirty-three. I'm going to save. Um, and then just look at investing whatever. I mean, it could be uh, real estate. Is obviously, a great option. Always a great option. It's secure. It's bricks and mortars. It gives you capital growth, as in your 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 money grows over the course of time as the price of the property increases. But you also get a, a rental yield, so you get a regular dividend and income coming from it as well. So property is a great one. Um, sometimes the barriers for entry are high in terms of the capital to get involved in the beginning is high. So that may be an obstacle. If that's the case, then. You know, there's various, so you can now look at investing into shares of property. You can now look at these properties where they're doing as part of like a structured program where, you know, that, that you can buy shares within the property. You know, there's various companies online that are doing that, doing it really well. And that gives you the opportunity to invest from like 10 pounds or 100 pounds or $10, $100, $1,000, whatever you want. That's a great way to get, get your foot on the property ladder. Um, apart from that, um, 
you know, look, uh, one, one thing that I'm really interested in, but which is not necessarily for everyone straight away. You need to have a significant amount of experience, but that would be uh, investing in companies, investing in businesses, looking at people with other ideas who have got good ideas and investing in them. It's not about the business, it's about the person you're investing in. So when you're investing in a new business, what you're looking at is you're looking at the individual. You're not looking at the organization per se. What I like to invest in is the person because a good person will make an average opportunity a great opportunity, but a bad person will make a great opportunity bad. So invest in the person. Right now, I've got a meeting going upstairs now. A guy's coming to pitch me a film. So looking at getting into the film and entertainment business. So let's go see what's happening.